The fans are just waiting to find out who it is, which is probably the most effective thing about Scream is how, how that's really a who done it. Same way, uh, you know, old-fashioned uh, murder movie would be. That's the part that drives people nuts. <laughs> I was so lucky to get the call. They had me come in to play um, a detective in the New York Police Department. He's already in New York, and Ghostface comes to him. Um, all of our other Scream storylines have taken place in Woodsboro, small town, um, USA, anywhere USA. And um, now this gets real in Manhattan, New York City. What are you going to do? We know the killer. It's Ghostface. We don't know who the killer is. Yeah, he, there's no stopping him. I'm the father of one of the college roommates of uh, our heroes. We had an incredible time. Just that whole group of young actors were so welcoming and they had me in as a peer. So I was so touched uh, in all honesty. Jenna Ortega, can you imagine what we have uh, to look forward to from that actor? I can't wait. She's so unique in so many ways. I think the world's discovering that, but um, you, you, you see it when you get to know her. And of course we're shooting away from home, all of us. Um, so to be uh, included in their activities, and the producers are so generous, and um, so I couldn't ask for a better time. Then also, you know, we were all in the same assignment. We're in a Scream movie. It's not just like a regular job. So we're also, sometimes you're actually aware that you're making a scene that is part of the iconography of the, of the franchise. So when you're at the sort of bad guy reveal scene, everybody's really excited because it's that scene from one of these movies. So. The whole thing took on a real close context um, that I'll always appreciate. Do you have anyone that might want to target you? Not anyone who's still alive. This isn't like any other ghost face. There's that beautiful um, sort of shrine that the murderer makes uh, out of all the different pieces from all the other Scream franchise movies. So if you can believe it, that guy collected them all into the same place. And now he's sort of beckoning his victims to his... Uh, shrine lair, you know, good old fashioned horror movie stuff. So we're all on point, we're all really thrilled. Super intense choreography, a lot of physicality, fighting and chasing, and uh, everybody rose to the challenge, yeah, amazing. They floored it on the action too, uh, definitely they're uh, uh, more extended, the, the suspense, which has always been a part of Scream, they, they added a number of sequences, whereas before we know our opening, kind of what's likely to happen in the opening of the film and how suspenseful that's proven to be. Then they'd have another one, and then a chase, and then kind of your final. This just keeps going. They added so many elements. The um, bloody kills are even, there are more of them. They're gorier. They're longer. They take place longer in the movie. That's what I was really struck by, that it's, they're still, the ghost face is still stabbing that person. Matt and Tyler is this incredible team. I was so happy to uh, get to know how they work. Really, they're like leaders of the pack of this group of young actors, uh, especially that core four, as they call them. But everyone else that came on board, myself included, they just, uh, they just made this incredible little gang club around making this movie. And that's how it operated. Really open, um, but very specific in their direction and so precise in how they ultimately put the movie together, which of course Wes Craven taught us all is a key element in making horror, is that editorial timing, or even the sounds, um, all of that comes after we've shot it, so they did that expertly and made a great movie. You want me, so let's finish this. I like horror adjacent films and dark thrillers as well. So in that murky area where there's a less uh, borders of the genre, the gray, which isn't a horror movie, except it has a movie monster in its purest form. A lot of it plays off camera, that pack of wolves. So uh, that would be maybe horror adjacent. So I like that. Paul Walter Hauser's performance in Black Bird. It's not a horror movie, but he played a truly off-kilter, horrifying character. What a wonderful actor. I'll leave it at that. That was horrifying.